Taurus babies, hey, 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 welcome back to Hadia K, the Goddess Palace. I will be doing Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, North Node. All right, for Taurus, I'm going to start off with the crystal reading, crystal meditative reading, you and your money, you and your boo, and then money. All right, whatever comes out first is what is needed. Take what you need, leave the rest, y'all. Thank you guys so, so much for growing the family. I appreciate all the love, likes, and shares. Y'all, I have been going through so many changes, transformations, okay? Um, protect your space. Protect your home. There's definitely a major spiritual warfare that's going on. Like I was saying in all the other videos, I've been having to, like, literally, like, okay, show out and show up. My ancestors is like, look, you've been a little bit too nice. You've been a little bit too, hey, I don't want to, you know, it's time to turn shit up a notch. It's time for you to go ahead and go into your world, your role, baby girl. It's time for you to make it do what it do. Make it pop. Do your magic. Say your magic. Light your incense. Light your candles, okay? So, I had to learn to be more, um, using my more raw my raw energy and i'm saying that because using the raw masculine energy was what helped me navigate and to learn and to see clearly about my different devils or demons people situations entities that i had to really go through let go of okay um just in general with tarot and energy reading a lot of people think um I feel like a lot of you guys, either you're in, you're looking up different stuff when it comes to spirituality or it's like there's a need for you to look at like the religion, what you're believing in or something like that. I don't know if something is negative or something that's heavy, but I do feel like either you feel stuck, trapped or stuck something like a trap or this is how someone feels pertaining to you i definitely feel like either you or someone else don't know how to keep their wand their yoni to themselves um someone is definitely a flirt or someone just doesn't care about themselves or the relationship or respect for you or they don't respect you you don't respect them they don't respect you it's something like that all right so we're gonna see what's going on I'm gonna say so Taurus, this literally almost almost um hopped out. Literally, alright. So we're gonna see what's going on with your money. Money, Taurus, October 2020. Money, Taurus, October 2020. So, Taurus, you guys can be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra. I definitely feel like when it comes to your money here, there may be endings that you guys are going through where you're having to let go of something. I do feel like you guys are protective of uh, what you're working on or your foundation here. I do feel like if you guys were feeling burdened, you guys are letting things go, letting go of responsibilities, taking care of other people. I definitely feel like you guys are realizing that you guys are having to take charge for yourself in order for you to create something that you can call your own or in order for you to create something that is going to be for you. It's a need for you to like be serious, buckle down. I do see that a new job is coming towards you here. You guys may have been apply, apply for a job and may be waiting five days or you may be hearing something back by the 5th or the 15th of October. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys can be feeling imbalanced here about some type of job or some type of offer that you're taking. I do feel like the imbalance can also be anger here because a lot of you guys that were not thinking clearly or something wasn't being thought out clearly when it came to something new, a new position, a new situation here. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys may have uh, signed a contract or went for a job that uh, was in a certain field, but then you're realizing that you don't want to do that field anymore. I'm also getting a lot of you guys may be releasing responsibilities um, from a job. Like, either you're walking away, you're quitting here to go into something new. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, this Virgo energy is you needing to spend time to yourself. Um, I definitely feel like when you're in balance, like I was saying in my other readings, I was, when, when I'm in balance and stuff like that, I meditate, I go out into nature, I do my spiritual baths. So get my aura cleanses, okay, get my clarity readings as well. I definitely feel like there's a lot of heavy energy, okay, there's a lot of movement as well. So some of you guys can be wanting to move, travel, okay, for work, or this is you like getting up and going, 
okay but i feel like there's something that there, there's a need for no rush like there's no rush for you to get to whatever you're trying to do okay something is definitely gonna take time is also what i'm getting okay Taurus. so everything does not happen overnight something is definitely gonna take time i definitely feel like if you're trying to uh step over people's toes or trying to do some something like someone or try and be like stinky when it comes to money making ideas or habits or something ventures it's not gonna work okay you're gonna be the one that's gonna be feeling like assed out when it comes to you and your boo Taurus. You and your boo, October 2020. I'm going to take this right here. So, there may be a legal situation. This can be uh, court, child support, or this can be like a back and forth. Someone trying to make a fair decision on a situation here. I definitely feel like you guys can be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, a Taurus, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? I definitely feel like there's a fair decision being made here or there's some type of balance, okay? I definitely feel like if there was a a, a child's mother, if you if you're a feminine energy and you have a child or if you're a masculine and you have a child's mother, this person can be upset. I do feel like there's a need for you to move forward in a situation where um, there's there's no need for defense there does there's no need for defensive communication i do feel like there's a need for someone to like listen to what someone else is saying here someone's not trying to attack you or you're not trying to attack someone someone's just trying to tell you how they feel i definitely feel like there's a shift in uh emotions where someone didn't want a relationship or someone didn't want to be with someone but now someone wants to be with someone i feel like a child's mother can be upset that someone is moving on and moving forward i definitely feel like Taurus, if you're a masculine energy you could be moving forward from a feminine energy here you could be being very protective over your foundation over your kids but you're moving forward because you're seeing that whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you've been trying to manifest with this person is not coming to light i'm also getting there could have been spell work or this could have been um root work as well like magic or something like that that was holding someone back holding someone back from um getting or being with someone i definitely feel like like i said the devil is some type of um attachments it's gonna be cycles um over and over and over so taurus either you or someone else was doing some type of magic spell work remember with spells rituals is words okay guys so let me just break all of that down because people be thinking spells is like oh la 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 and you saying a whole bunch of crazy shit spells is what you're saying out your mouth when you wake up and you say, I'm doing A, B, and C, that's a spell, that's a ritual, okay? So I feel like either you or someone else was trying to make someone stay, you or someone else was trying to make someone be with you or uh, not leave, okay? By either holding sex, this can be holding some type of unhealthy behavior, this can be alcohol, this can be um, toxicity, like how you talk to each other, right? Um, like those type of things over each other's head. And I feel like the Ten of Pentacles, you're really focused on your finances, you're focused on yourself. I also feel like when it comes to this love situation, you or someone else is using money and sex. That's, it is what it is because the devil, the devil is like devilish energy, like someone's holding sex or using sex uh, to get money or like someone's like trying to like, like uh, energy, this can be an energy vampire, either you or someone else is like they're using sex to get money out of you or they're using sex and money or they're looking at you like a meal ticket or you're looking at someone like a meal ticket and you're trying to use sex or whatever to hold over them. So this is again, you guys can definitely have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Taurus, um, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart, okay? Some of you guys can have strong sun and moon, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, uh, strong Taurus energy, strong earth energy, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So that can be your sun and moon, right? Your sun and moon sign. Someone's rising as well could be in Scorpio, Pisces, or Libra. Um, I definitely feel like this devil is like temptation. So either you or someone else is like a charmer. Like you or someone else is like able to, someone is like trying, someone's like trying to not want somebody to walk away. Someone doesn't want someone to be happy. Someone doesn't want someone to be peaceful, at peace, mental peace. Okay. It's like someone just wants to keep having arguments or drama. And it's like you or someone else, if this is, if there's children involved, if this is a child's mother, child's father, you or someone else is like, look, I'm not doing this. I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to live my life. Like, I don't have time for this. It's like a baby mother or baby father being bitter because someone someone is leaving or someone has already moved on. It's like if y'all already, if y'all already, if you have children with somebody and y'all have moved on or y'all have a new relationship, there's no reason why you need to be using a kid or using sex or using money, using whatever to try and keep somebody. 
Like, that's, that's pussy. Like, you don't do stuff like that. That's weird. And it's like, why would you, why would you try and hold stuff over? Why would you try and use, like, a kid or sex or something like that just for money? Like, you can't, you can't. So the only way you know how to do is leech. Girl, boy, whoever I'm talking to, like, that's weird. Like, I don't know. But I feel like tourists, y'all really need to get it together. Okay, please look at the Pisces. The Capricorn, the Leo, and the Libra reading. If those, if you have any of those placements in your chart, please look at those. All right, because that's gonna say a whole bunch, a whole whole bunch, help you a whole whole bunch as well. All right, peace, love, and light. Ashe, let me know how your October goes. Go ahead and get my cleanses, get my bundles. All right, you guys can also email me kdropandjemla@gmail.com if you guys are wanting to inquire. All right, you guys can follow me on uh, Snap K Nicole Twenty One. And my Twitter, K-Dropping Gems. All right, peace of a light.